What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam. I'm a full-time six-figure eBay and Shopify seller. And what I do on this channel is help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. So make sure you subscribe down below. In today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is how to rise in the eBay search results. In one of the previous videos that I made, I asked you guys if you wanna see a video of me breaking down exactly what I do to rank higher in the eBay search results. I got a lot of other strategies when it comes to ranking higher in the search results. If you want to see a video on that as well, put it in the comments that you want to see a video on me talking about how to rank higher in the eBay search results. I'll be more than happy to make that video. A lot of you guys said that you want to see a video on this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. In one of the new stores that I started, I was able to make around £8,000 in one of its first couple months of being started in revenue. And that's a 2% increase from the previous month. So what I'm going to do in this video is break down exactly what I did with this store to get the listings ranked higher in the eBay search results. You guys are definitely going to find value out of this video. If you do, don't forget to press the like button as it really helps out the channel in a big way. I really appreciate that. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss all the weekly videos that I'm going to release to help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so jumping straight into it, before I even discuss the things that I do to rank higher in the eBay search results, the first thing that I do from the beginning is make sure that I pick the right product. Before you even think about the things that you need to do to rank higher in the eBay search results, you need to make sure that you pick the right product from the beginning. So the way that I do my product research is by mainly looking at the sell-through rate and the total market value. So the first thing I do is look for a product that has a sell-through rate as close to 100% as possible. Make sure that the amount of money that was made with that keyword was around £100,000 minimum. So these are the things that you need to think about before you even consider what you need to do to rank higher in the search results. Moving on to the next thing that you guys need to be aware of is that you need to make sure that once you do have your product and you've imported it, you need to make sure that you list it correctly. You need to make sure that you do the right keyword research and you need to make sure that you list it with a custom listing template. You need to try to do everything possible from the beginning of when you start listing the item to make sure that you have a higher chance of ranking in the eBay search results. So what I like to do is do keyword research using Zeek Analytics. On Zeek Analytics, they have a useful tool that allows you to check the right keywords to use when it comes time for you to list your product on eBay. All right guys, so I've just jumped over to my Zeek Analytics dashboard. And on the left over here, you can see something called Title Builder. So what I'm gonna do is click into that. All right, so the way that Zeek Analytics works is that once you type in whatever product you're looking to either sell or you're looking to either import, it's gonna give you an idea of what title to put in your actual listing. So what I'm gonna do is use Dog Harness as a product example. So what I'm gonna do is type in Dog Harness. I'm gonna leave the location to United Kingdom. The date range, I'm gonna leave it to 30 days. I'm gonna select eBay as the marketplace and I'm gonna click on search. This tool on Zeek Analytics is very useful because it gives you the long tail keyword ideas that you can put in your title when it comes time for you to list your product. So if we look at the first one right here where it says dog harness adjustable, we can see that the competition is 11 and the sales that it was able to generate in that period of time, which is the last 30 days is 974. So if I was looking to sell dog harnesses on my eBay store and I was going to list it, I would use the keywords dog harness adjustable because this was able to get the most sales. And the way that you wanna use this page is that you wanna go with the keywords with the least competition, but has a decent amount of sales. So for example, if we look at fabric, dog and puppy, the competition is four, but it was still able to generate a decent amount of sales. If you haven't already imported your product yet and you're looking to import a product to sell on your store, you may wanna go for a dog harness that's made of a specific fabric. This tool gives you ideas of products you should be importing, keywords that you should be using when you're listing your product. It's very useful. If you also want to gain access to Zeek Analytics and use this tool to help you list your products on eBay, you can click the link in the description. It's going to give you a seven day trial. So I like to use Zeek Analytics when it comes to building my title, but if you don't have Zeek Analytics or you don't have access to it, what I like to do is look at the seller that's highest in the search results for the product that I'm looking to sell. And then I look at the keywords that they put in their listing as well as their title. I don't like to copy word for word what they've put in their title. I like to mix it up a little bit. The next thing I want you guys to be aware of is that it's always good to use a custom listing template because it separates you from all your competitors on eBay. I've already made a video breaking down 
the way you shouldn't list your product on eBay and the way that you should list your product. So I'm gonna link it above. You can watch that video after you've watched this one. So now that I've explained the things that you need to be aware of before you even list your item, what I'm gonna do now is go into a couple strategies that you can try that might give you a chance of ranking higher in the eBay search results. So the one tip that I learned at the beginning of my eBay career many, many years ago that really, really helped me become a full-time six-figure eBay seller that I am today. If I list my product lower than what I intend to sell it for and then gradually increase the price bit by bit. So for example, if I need to sell a product at 30 pounds for me to see the profit that I need. So I've already calculated everything and 30 pounds is the amount that I need to sell it for, for me to pay the eBay fee, the PayPal fee, the postage fee, all of the fees. And 30 pounds is the amount that I need to sell it for, for me to see the profit that I need to be able to pay my bills, etc. What I will do is that I will list the product at around 20 pounds. So I'm gonna be making a loss initially. So let's say for example, I input 30 pieces of a particular product and I'm looking to sell it long-term. So I'm looking to sell it for the next year, two years, three years. What I will do is that I will list it at around 20 pounds and then gradually I'll increase the price bit by bit because the way eBay works is that if an item is sold on eBay, it automatically ranks higher and higher in the search results because the more and more you make sales at that low price and then you gradually increase the price to your target price, eBay will see it as people really want this item. This is one of the main things that I learned at the start of my eBay journey that really, really allowed me to grow and rise in the search results. Because eBay is such a competitive marketplace and there's so many sellers selling the same product, the way that you'll be able to beat a lot of these sellers is by rising in the search results. And my number one method of accomplishing this is by selling the item at a cheap price, rising in search results, and then gradually increasing the price as you go on. So if you're looking to set up a business on eBay, you're gonna to have to take a loss at the start of your eBay journey. The sellers that are out there that are able to take as much of a loss at the beginning of their eBay journey or at the beginning when they first list the product are the ones that are most likely to have success in the future because those are the ones that are gonna rank higher and higher in the search results. So this is one of the main tricks that I learned at the start of my eBay journey and I'm passing it on to you guys. So hopefully it helps one of you guys out there. If it does, put it in the comments down below. Let me know that this strategy helped you out because it definitely helped me out at the start of my journey. So let's move over to a couple more things that I would advise you guys to do if you wanna rank higher and higher in the eBay search results. So what I do with my new listings when they don't really work out as well as what I want them to at the beginning is that I run a promoted listing. So the sales that you get using a promoted listing count towards the total sales for the product. And plus using a promoted listing ad really, really helps you generate sales at the start. So I wouldn't necessarily advise this for a lot of new sellers, because not every single seller out there is gonna have the capital to run a promoted list and ad, because it's gonna cost you around 10 or 15% of whatever you list the product for. I would only advise the sellers that plan on selling an item for the next year, two years, three years, just to get them as high in the search results as possible. A couple more strategies that I'm gonna give you guys to help you rank higher in the eBay search results is that if you use a subtitle on your listing, there's a chance that you might rank higher in the eBay search results as well, but this is not guaranteed but this is something that I do for all my new listings. So I'm just gonna show you on the screen now what a subtitle looks like, just so that you get an idea. All right, so sticking with the same product example, dog harness, I'm just gonna scroll down and show you an example of what a listing looks like with a subtitle. All right, so I found this listing, and as you can see, this section here is the subtitle where it says, same day post premium quality, free post UK seller. So this section here is the subtitle. As you can see, if we scroll down a little bit, this listing right here doesn't have a subtitle. This one also doesn't have a subtitle. So what I'm gonna do is quickly jump over to my eBay account and show you exactly where you would put a subtitle if you did decide to use one. All right, so I've just jumped over to the back end of my eBay store and I've clicked on list a new product. This is what the page is gonna look like. So this is where you're gonna put your title and they give you 80 characters to use in your title. So I would highly recommend to use all of those 80 characters so that you have a higher chance of ranking in the eBay search results. So this section here is where you're gonna put the subtitle. As you can see, eBay are charging £2.40 and I believe it's gonna be £2.40 per month that's gonna get added onto your eBay invoice. So this is where you're gonna put the subtitle. They give you 55 characters for that as well. And again, I would highly recommend that you use every single last one of these characters in this section right here. So I hope now you have a better understanding of exactly what a subtitle is and exactly where you're gonna put it when it comes time for you to list your product on eBay. Anytime that you give eBay any extra money, they're more likely to rank it higher, but you also have to be getting sales as well. This is why it's important for you guys out there to use the best images, the best keywords, listing template, anything that you can do to make the customer wanna purchase the item, you also need to be doing that as well. If you do all those things correctly in terms of listing your product correctly and also using subtitles and maybe sponsored listings, there's a high chance that you're gonna rank as high as you can in the eBay search results, as well as starting off the product 
as low as you can in terms of price and then gradually increasing it over time. So those are the main things that I do when I build new eBay stores and I'm looking to get my products ranked as high as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got some value out of it. If you did, don't forget to press the like button as it really helps out the channel in a big way. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss all the weekly videos that I'm gonna release to help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. Don't forget to add me on Instagram as well. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.